Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. In this episode, I'll be showing you some of the people in Megaton and some of the areas or buildings. Now, this guy. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty. Colin Moriarty. What I don't get is. It's been 100, 200 years since the bombs fell. And. He has an Irish accent. That just makes me think how fucked up was his country to have come here? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get why he has an Irish accent. And here is Nova. You saw, saw her in the last episode. She's a hooker. And here's Gob. You also saw him in the last episode. He's a ghoul. Ghouls are... Ghouls can live for a very long time and are messed up by radiation. As you can see, I'm being nice to Gob. Uh, I don't know why. I got good karma. Good karma and bad karma. That goes along with the, uh, with Fallout. Um, good, good karma. People in Megaton will give you rewards every now and then. Like, if you've got very good karma. If you're bad karma, um, I don't really know. I haven't done extremely bad karma before. But, uh, nothing bad happens. No, just nobody likes you. Alright, there's Hardened Sims. <laughs> Hard on. And, um, Ooh, now he's Lucas Lucky Sims' son. Suit. This is Billy now Creel. I haven't seen one of those he, um, I think wow, he was an X Raider. I'm not damn sure. Good condition, too. Name's Billy Creel. I don't know. I forgot. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a He's town, not important. I'm just showing bad. him. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> All right, and this girl next to him is Maggie. Hi, I'm Maggie. I live with Billy, Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything, but he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. All right, let's go. Jump on this bus here and jump down. This well, is Manya. She's the. I'm she knows the. the she's been in Megaton since it started. Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. I don't recognize. And this is Lucy West. You, you get a quest from her. That's pretty much all she is good for. I Just hopping along. And that big house you see in front of us right here is a house you can get if you disarm the bomb of Megaton. And this house is Jericho's house. We'll see him down in the crater. And drink the water but here's Nathan, the ah, man Manya was talking about, her New husband. Blood. Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot. He really loves and the any Enclave. any patriot worth his salt is going to toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're going to roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Okay. God bless the. And this no. next guy is uh, oh, Confessor he? Cromwell. He's pretty much the leader of the cult that worships the bomb. You no, know, he is the leader of the cult that worships welcome. the bomb. Not pretty much. Welcome to Megaton. And he stands in irradiated water all day. How smart. Confessor Cromwell, prophet of atom and father of the undying glow. Please, child, come to the church any time, any time at all. Rays shower you, child. Okay. 
Now, right behind me, you'll see there's Jericho. Oh, look. He was he was a raider. I'm sure he was a raider. And if you have really bad karma and you sweet talk him enough, you can get him to follow you around and help you kill people, follow or carry your gear and all that stuff. Now, this is I've Jenny Stahl. She has two brothers in Megaton. Just passing through, right? I'm not going to show them, though, because the usually anyway, they're in different places and I don't have much place. time. What can I get you? But she runs the restaurant. I don't know what the name of the restaurant is, but there's like Asian lettering on it. So uh, if you're playing, you can't miss it. And here is Doc Church. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Yeah, he's a dick. Alright, now we're going to go up to Crater Side Supply and talk to Moira. Um, I don't listen to what much she has to say, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, Crater Side Supply is, by the way, um, the general store. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. What we're going to do Help here is we're going to pick up a quest great. from her. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all. She gave us a armored vault suit. That'll be useful. Okay, uh, what do I want to do now? Okay, well, I think uh, I decided I'm going to arm the bomb and detonate it. Big explosions always cool. Yes. And uh, here's where we're gonna see the strength bobblehead. Gives you one point of strength, which is why I only put nine into strength. Get this so early on. But as you can see, the door is locked, so we have to go either pick Lucas Sims' pocket or kill him. And it's gonna be kind of hard to get away, but we're gonna kill him. Hit him right in the face. <laughs> Now, once you kill him, you're pretty much fucked. You gotta run away from the entire town. You just gotta duck and weave through all the bullets. I don't know if I'm gonna show um, what happens if you don't detonate the bomb, but, uh,. Yeah. All right, here's the bobblehead of strength. I didn't show it very long, but it adds one point to your strength. Holy shit, they are really coming for me. Gotta get out of here. I don't want to die in Megaton. I've had to re-record this many times because I keep screwing up, or I do something wrong, or the Xbox freezes. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're just going to go around the city, and around the back of Megaton is a hollowed out rock or a fake rock or something that has a stealth boy, a sniper rifle, some stim packs, some ammo, and a note. Apparently somebody left it back there for somebody else, and uh, it's really useful.
Usually at the beginning of a new game, I do the quest Into the Pit, which was the second add-on to this game. Because you get a lot of stim packs and good armor and great weapons from it. But I decided to not to. Just go with the original game first. Alright, those are mole rats. They're pretty easy to take down, they're just really annoying. Alright, I'll just walk right by it right there on accident. Forgot. Alright, there it is. Right in between two dead trees. Uh, stealth boys, if you can't tell, you know, make you invisible. Alright, I'm running out of time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned to my channel for future episodes. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to be going to Tenpenny Tower, and hopefully we'll make it and detonate the bomb. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.